But but speaking of political correctness, before I go any further, I was just thinking, and I'm actually going to do a White House petition tomorrow, and I'm going to get serious about this. If we need to ban museums having Nazi flags or, or Confederate flags they mix together with it wrongly, uh, and if they're going to try to go into gun shows where people are just selling war, war memorabilia, you know, the more the better. They'll have them from hundreds of different armies. I think we should call for the ban of Raiders of the Lost Ark and every other film that shows swastikas because it's just a hate symbol, and if you're showing it, you're promoting it. And Raiders of the Lost Ark shows hundreds of swastikas on the backs of planes, uh, on the sides of crates, uh, everywhere, and it's it's hateful. And, and when people see these, you know, that's the headline, they begin to vomit, they begin to hyperventilate, um, I want it banned right now, okay? I mean, I really got to wonder about Steven Spielberg now because if you display these, you must be for it. And he's got Nazis marching with him, and all I know is I'm scared and I'm offended right now. <laughs> I mean, they got swastikas, they got to keep that going. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Euro was a Nazi program plan, and now Germany's corrupt elite that sucked their own taxpayers dry, propping up the Euro, just like America props up the global government, Germany's propping it up while it collapses, has now taken over Greece and is giving them debts that aren't theirs, and Greek people now face six months of cash controls, the Sunday Times is reporting. Then coming up, leaked documents show FBI, DEA, and Army can control your computer. Technology is so invasive, even the DEA had reservations about purchasing it. And what it allows them to do is put stuff on your computer. That's really what it is, under so the sneak and peek provision of the Patriot Act. Some good news. Cuomo agrees to suspend background checks for ammo. There was no law. He was just doing background checks if you tried to buy ammo. It was part of the SAFE Act that they tried to federally pass, but it didn't work. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has agreed to suspend the proposed requiring background checks for ammunition sales in the state in the face of Republican opposition and technical difficulties. Of course, it turns out that all these shooters got their guns illegally, including the guy at the black church. So we're going to go over all of that coming up. Antidepressants use rising among teens and young adults. Of course, it causes psychotic breaks in a minority of people. So cops, when somebody just randomly comes up to shoot you in the head or shoot somebody else, just know it's not the gun. You know, they're going to be on psychotropics as they always are about 99% of the time. I mean, I... I say that because, I mean, we haven't found a case yet where just a senseless robot killing wasn't from these drugs. But I'm sure they exist. So we'll just say 99% to be safe. To celebrate the birth of our country and give a big thanks to all the info warriors out there, we are now offering free shipping on every item shipped out of the InfoWarsStore.com warehouse. That's free shipping on all T-shirts, books, and DVDs. Free shipping on Molan Labe and 1776 belt buckles, which are also 25% off while supplies last. Free shipping on all of our InfoWarsLife.com nutraceuticals. If it's in the InfoWarsStore.com warehouse, it's shipping for free, all during the month of July. It's our way of saying thanks to the true heart and soul of this operation, who stand beside us and support us as we wage an info war for liberty and freedom for all. Infowarsstore.com, free shipping for the month of July.